Hey guys, it's Jen here, and I'm ready to admit that I have posters of Ringo Starr and John Bonham all over my walls. Today I'm focusing on the Rock Band 3 Pro Drums. Pro Drums denotes the addition of three cymbals that physically sit above the drum pad rock banders are familiar with. Harmonix released the Pro Cymbals late October 2010, a few days after the initial release of Rock Band 3. The day I fell in love with rock band drums was when I passed my first expert song, Ballroom Blitz. I was in a band at the time, so my drummer suggested I try it out on his kit. I gave it a shot, and lo and behold, I could play it on real drums. The ability to move almost seamlessly into a real instrument was something I'd never experienced before, and I was hooked. Once I felt like this game had real-world application, I didn't have to defend my plastic button mashing against claims that it was an overall waste of time. So if you've seen any rock band before, you know how this one works. Notes come toward you and you hit them in time with the music. Miss too many and you're booed off stage. The difference between regular and pro drums is that cymbals will appear as a circular note instead of the rectangular ones. Selecting pro anything will still give you the difficulty options you know and love. I don't really care much for easier medium, but starting off there is a nice introduction to hitting the cymbal versus the regular pad. Cymbals were a welcome ramp up in difficulty. Adding a new tier of notes without affecting the current heads up display was a great move on the part of harmonics. It made a move into pro drums incredibly easy, even if the tracks I chose to play were impossible for my brain to process. Commenters on my pro keys review were correct. New pro drum tracks for past songs were available instantly. This required extra development on harmonics part, and realizing that I can appreciate them even more. It's rare that console gamers get additions like this for free, not to mention updates for older games. In Rock Band 3, Harmonix seems to have hit a few influential drummers, and I'm pleased with the variety I've been given. But if I wanted to nitpick, the track listing is devoid of a few givens for a game premiering pro drums, such as Rush, Led Zeppelin, Asia, Cream, Genesis, Whitesnake, Dream Theater, Slayer, Journey, Black Sabbath. I mean, I could go on for a while. It's true, most of these artists have been represented on past versions of Rock Band, but I'm looking specifically at the third installment's track list. By themselves, pro cymbals cost between $30 to $40 new. Decide to get a whole new kit and you're looking at around $100 to $120. If you want to go really big, get the Ion Electronic Drum Kit, which is over $200, but incredibly worth it if you're a legit drummer and plan to use the set for both work and play. Sometimes I have nightmares where Harmonix has added a mandatory cowbell, three extra toms, and double kick drums, and you have to actually be as good as Neil Peart to even play the easiest songs. Never fails to wake me up in a cold sweat. Get the pro drums. If you have the space, the kit is just worth it. Drumming is wildly fun and it's very easy to hop in and out. Its accessibility makes it great for new and pro drummers. I've seen this game transform timid non-gamers into Todd Rundgren wannabes. With the wealth of tracks available and the ability to add prior games to your overall collection, I highly recommend dropping the cash. So channel your inner animal and go nuts on pro drums. Yeah.